Howdy folks, Grok the Duck Farmer here, and it's time for a little World of Dragons. As you can tell from all this, uh, these chorus plants here, I have visited the end. Uh, you know, once you've got a, a jetpack, whee, then it makes it so much easier to uh, deal with the dragon over there. And uh, with uh, the, the, the chain gun, the, oh boy, did it just, that minigun just tore him up fast. So that, that worked out really well. And I went over and grabbed uh, these so that I could have them because I needed some of these bits, the, the purple blocks that these can make uh, to upgrade my builder's hut to tier four, which means that I can upgrade all this stuff to tier four. But we'll do that later and not right now. Uh, it's that, oh yeah, like a little guy, yep. All right, let's head on down. And the one of the things that I was wanting to do before we get into that, uh, I, I, I wanted to sit there and be able to, to get some of these uh, bits and pieces and, and whatnots that I need, uh, especially the osmium, which is new with the, the advent of Mechanica to the, the pack. And the easiest way to do that is with the digital miner, which has a, a, a pretty fun little uh, recipe for it. Now, teleportation cores and all these various bits and doodads and whatnots that, that are there. Uh, so, you know, those are all, all necessary. Uh, let's see, what else did I do? Oh, yep, let me grab these. Did I leave anything? Yep, I left some more enrichment stuff in there. That's done. Oh, I made an osmium compressor because that will be necessary. Let's dump this out. I wanted to go ahead and make some upgrades. This is the anchor upgrade. It uh, keeps the machine chunk loaded. So if I put that into the digital miner, it will actually chunk load that area, which I think is really cool. Uh, Osmium, that's the speed updates, uh, yeah, upgrades, and the gold gives me the energy upgrades. So we'll go ahead and put those there. And I just upgraded this one too, so it's got all the upgrades that it can. So it, it can be way faster. These guys, yeah, not so much. I don't need to do that much with them. However, there was some things that I did want to do. Uh, let's grab these bits. Uh, I went ahead and took two obsidian and ground them up in the pulverizer, and that gave me this pulverized obsidian. And I, I ran a diamond through the enrichment chamber to get the compressed diamond. And, and it, it's always best to do that enrichment of whatever you're using. Oh, so much faster. Uh, it's always good to, to do that enriching of whatever you're using because it, you get eight times as much out of it, which is a very nice thing. So let's go ahead and do one, two of you. And I'm going to go ahead and put two there. I need some osmium. Boom, boom. Uh, this is this is cool. This this is the uh, what does it say? Uh, yeah, J E I bookmarks. Hover over an ingredient and hit Alt I to bookmark it. Well, I don't need this one anymore. Can I un Alt I? Uh, yes, those can go away. All right, so uh, very handy. Uh, anyway, back to here. I like doing these one by one rather than taking like a stack of osmium because it requires one complete uh, ingot of osmium to, to compress one of these things or refine one of these things. But if you put in a stack of them, it seems like it eats up more than an ingot's worth for each one of these. And if I had gazillions of osmium, it wouldn't matter, but I don't, so I'm going to hold off on that. All right, so uh, things that we did, if you take redstone and iron, that gives you alloy, that gives you these enriched alloy. And if you do redstone and um, osmium, that gives you the circuit, this guy here, the basic control circuit. Now, if we take, uh, let's see, I need a diamond. Let's do two diamonds and alloy. Let's do... 16 of you. So I'm going to go ahead and enrich these two. Again, always if, if you can en enrich stuff before you use them. And give me, 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 give me. There we go. Compressed diamond. We'll spit that in there. This will go ahead and upgrade these to the reinforced alloy, which is mighty handy to have. And, you know, 
I lied. Let's do three diamonds worth. Diama. Diamond. There we go. One more. Enrich. And while that's enriching alloy, I need another eight of you. There we go. So we'll spit that in there. Are you done? You are done. And we'll spit that in there. Okay, so this will go ahead and, and make these uh, reinforced alloys, which is uh, very handy. Uh, a bunch of things use that. And I'm also going to go ahead and plop that in there and do this um, with the compressed obsidian, the, the refined obsidian. Uh, that makes the atomic alloy, which is the, 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 the top tier. Can I make... Yeah, I can't uh, upgrade this uh, with the, this pack into anything higher than this. Uh, I've seen some add-ons, I think, that went higher, or maybe I'm drunk. I don't remember. Anyway, uh, I need some of these. we got some of those, a bunch of that stuff. All righty. Let's go ahead and dump those off into there. Dump, dump. And I want to make a digital miner, and there's a bunch of things that it requires. But I'd like to know if I've got all the things, and I could go in and drill in and each one and... Eh, no. Instead, I'm going to make a crafting calculator. Let's click that. Oh, am I out of ink? Do I not have any ink? Black. I have no ink whatsoever. I I hope I have some uh, black uh, uh, dye. I should have some black dye over here with the... Uh, why is that sitting there? What? Oh, no, I can't <laughs> go down there. That's not an elevator. <laughs> This is the elevator. Okay, I should hopefully have a black. Uh, I do have one. Yay! Uh, I love how that actually works nicely this way. And we'll put that away. All right. Let's get back into building stuff. All right, Flippa, get out of my way. See, I can't call them Frank if they actually have a name. All right, back here, that needs some black dye. That makes the crafting calculator from just enough calculation. So we'll go ahead and make that. And I've not played with this before. So uh, one of the things, if you shift right click, it switches between the two different calculators. This is the math calculator. So if you need to know what, you know, one plus one is, it's two. Uh, you can do that with that. Or if you've got the crafting calculator, you can plop stuff into here. Like I want the digital miner. I want the digital miner and I also want the ultimate energy cube. Let's plop that in there too. Because I, I want to be able to do the, the recipes on, on these. So anyway, uh, back to digital miner. If I, uh, not you, I, I want to R, uh, I can move those in and it, knows that if I take these items and that number of them with the crafting table, it will make me a digital miner. Save. That has stored that there, but uh, let's put that in there. Now we want this one. Why does it say enrichment chamber? Well, this is the, the fuzzy metadata stuff. So this is all the stuff that it knows. Uh, now I can sit there and say, okay, steel casing teach it how to do a steel casing and notice how it's broken that down into the bits that the steel casing needs. Uh, same as the teleportation core. Let's save that. Now it knows those bits. Uh, the robot needs these things. So let's go ahead and teach it that. And the personal chest needs those. Let's break that down. What happened to all the rest of this stuff? Did it just lost the... It's like it lost some of the, the information. Well, that's no fun. Come on, let's put you back in there. Oh, personal chest. There's the personal chest. Uh, put that there. Yeah, it's like it lost a bunch of information. That's funky. Okay, let's put you back in there. Oh, there we go. There's all the bits and pieces that I need to. Uh, let's break down the energy tablet. There we go. And let's break down the logistical sorter. 
Okay, so this gives me a breakdown of all the bits and pieces and what's it's that I need. So I need seven of these, which I made 16, so I've got plenty. I've got uh, enough of these, the, the green ones. I think I've got everything I need. So this is a great way of figuring out all the bits. And now I've got all the bits. Let's go ahead and, and take a look in here uh, for this. I can just go ahead and toss into that. I need two of these, one, two. Uh, the logistical sorter, I need, oh, do I not? I don't have any pistons. Well, I do now. <laughs> there we go, one, two. All right, so one, they don't stack. Uh, so those are all those bits. I need a robot, which I don't have, I need those bits there personal chest got that and then I need two of these energy tablets one two oh they also don't stack that should oh I need to make this guy yeah it uh, doesn't know that it's got it but it's there and oh really I just made those oh they do they stack they do not stack all right Digital miner. All right, that's pretty nice to know that you've got all the bits that fast. Let's plop you there and then shift click. Oh, maybe that's disabled. Okay, maybe I uh, can't put you in. I could shift click the upgrades into here. Maybe this just doesn't let me shift click them in. Ah, oh, so sad. Anyway, I will go ahead and put those in place. Uh, the, the next thing I want is I want to be able to power this. And so I need the ultimate energy cube. So if we look at the recipe for, no, not using it, the recipe to make it is these. And come on, ultimate energy cube there. Okay, so, and it actually broke down the information for the, the energy tablet, which is really cool, uh, but it needs an, an elite. So if we are that, are that breaks this bits down and now that's the it needs an advanced energy cube so let's R that and break that down that's a basic energy cube R and save that so this needs another four atomic alloy a bunch of gold and redstone a lot of these enriched alloys reinforced alloys osmium and stuff and junk and things which again I've got and uh, I, I, I tested this in a creative world first to make sure how does this work because I'd never played with this before. And uh, that told me that I needed seven plus four of these atomic alloy. So 11, that's why I needed to do two sets of uh, these top tier alloys. That's kind of cool. I like that. Do you like that, Roxy? Roxy says yes, she likes that a lot too. All right, let's pop that one in. And I don't need the calculator anymore. We'll drop that one off. I do need to make some energy, energy. Oh, that's right. I can't, <laughs> I've got to do it here. I, I have no recipes for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, I've got eight of those and elite atomic basic steel casing. Make that down, down, down. So there's my basic energy cube. And then if I, eat, nope, can't hit you because it goes up there. All right, let's click this uh, basic energy cube. That makes the advanced. There's the advanced. And these I think could go out. Maybe that changes to, I'll just do it this way. There we go, oh, that's gold it needed. Cube, there's my cube, there's my elite. And then let's make this one. Ta-da! The ultimate energy cube. All right, because that's what I'm going to use to actually power this beastie because it will eat through the, the energy pretty fast. Doing. So I'm going to come over to here and I'm going to break this guy for right now and put him there. And this guy I'm going to stick here and it's already configured to input on all sides except for the front casing where it outputs. 
and that works just fine. Uh, so this will hold up to 51 million RF, which is a lot of RF, which I love. Uh, I think that's great. All right, you can go away. Alt I. Ah, very nice. Uh, so this is going to take a while to charge up, especially since, uh, no, it's just turning day. So the, the solar arrays will start working. So the digital miner, this is my favorite of all the ore producing um, machines out there. A lot of the other ones give you ores in bulk that you can't really choose too much for, or you can, you can narrow it down a little bit. But this one is very much a surgical strike. If you want a specific item, you can teach it. Uh, and, and there's two ways of, of doing that. Let's look at ores. Uh, say I want a diamond ore. Let's snag one of you. Uh, we can come into here and configure it. Uh, first, I like to set the radius all the way to max and then dig all the way to the bottom. And if, if, I, if I'm in the mining world, I'll raise this up higher, but I, I probably don't need to go any lower or higher than 60. Um, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, 128 because if I go into the nether to grab uh, the glowstone, I, I want to be able to grab it from the top of the nether all the way to the bottom of the nether. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do it all. Uh, and then I'll set in a filter and I can do an item stack like this, this diamond ore and we'll save that. Or you can go in and you can add an ore dictionary one where you could say something like uh, ore osmi asterisk. And we check, there it is. And we'll save that. So now it will grab both the diamond ore and osmium ore. Or if you really, really want, you could do everything. <laughs> if we check that, it's everything. Every block, even stuff without textures, every block will work. Uh, yeah, that, that's kind of bad, but or asterisk. Now this will go ahead and grab every type and variety and sort of ore that's around. So that I love. Or uh, what if I want obsidian? If you find some place where there's a lava lake, then go down in there, um, pour out a bucket of lava on top of that and you'll get all that obsidian. And then you use the ore miner, the ore miner, <laughs> the digital miner here, and you say, give me obsidian and it'll strip that top layer of obsidian out and the water pours down and makes this next layer of lava obsidian. So you run it again and you run it and you keep going until that lava lake is gone. It's the fastest way to grab a huge amount of obsidian. But I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that because I really don't need obsidian in there. Uh, you know, I think what I probably will do is I'm gonna do all ores. Let's go ahead and save that for right now, which means I don't need these at all. So I will go ahead and delete that one and delete that one. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that right here because it will leave all sorts of holes <laughs> down below my base. Uh, and instead, what I will probably do is head off someplace. Let's go daylight, zoom out, uh, like, oh, oh, oh. I know where I'm going. <laughs> I'm gonna go cave layers. Uh, let's go down to, yes, here is, one up one more. Uh, here is a dragon area and another dragon area. And then way up here, there's the, the first one I found. Uh, I don't have to dig that out to get to the various ores out of here. I'm going to park my digital miner right here in the center and let it go ahead and dig up all the ores for me. So much easier. Plus it'll go around here as well. Uh, I will also grab, while I'm thinking about it, the cave illuminator, this guy. And I will put that up in the, the up in the, with a sky access and that way as it's digging out all the ores and leaving little dark pockets of, of uh, darkness in the, the ground, the cave illuminator should illuminate those areas up, prevent mob spawns. It's a good thing. I like this thing. Oh, I like it a lot. All right, let's take a quick gander at what the cube is doing. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Uh, you still have power here. 
this one's down. So it's this is the the limitation right now. I think this does one or five K. I can't remember which, uh, but I do want to go ahead and upgrade now that I can make the top tier uh, pipes. Let's see mechanism uh, next one over these guys these are the the various pipes these do okay so this does 1k that does 5k 25k 120k rf per tick which is a huge amount of bandwidth uh, i probably don't need that much i do think i have a duct these guys are doing i I'm holding shift why are you not giving me details okay there oh so it is limited to 1k rf well no wonder it's it's fairly slow oh well uh yes i could upgrade those but i won't because i can make some better ones but we'll do that later i got the digital miner i love that beastie uh oh and there's the uh, end cake <laughs> because i didn't want to hunt around where the uh, end structure stronghold was i just made an end cake and ate a slice and off to the end I went so nice anyway digital miner I love it and uh, that's gonna allow me to get uh, the osmium I need uh, because a lot of these mechanism items require lots of osmium and I'm under a stack and also I was saying I was, I was very low on diamonds I get diamonds I can get all the ores I love it Anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer here, geeking out too much about having the digital miner, because it's great. And thanks for watching. Bye.